Hello, Diana. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Gamaliel. Welcome back. Thank you so much for being on time. Yeah. Now we are going to double check uh, uh, details about previous uh, topic that we checked last week. So before I start the classes, let me ask you, how was your weekend? Como estuvo su fin de semana? Very good, teacher. Good, good. All right. Good, sí, very good. Did you eat pupusas? Did you went to the park? Did you enjoy your family? Tell me what you guys uh, did this last, uh, this I mean, last weekend. ¿Qué hicieron sí. este fin de semana? Comieron pupusas, fueron al parque, visitaron a su familia. ¿Cómo estuvo todo? Good. Uh, All right, the, 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 uh -huh, the, the first uh, it proposes. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. Welcome, uh, Sophia. All right, guys. Uh, first to the first, let's go, go and check, you know, our motivation uh, quote. All right, so today is Monday, right? So and nobody wants to work. Nobody wants to do nothing, right? So oh my goodness today is monday hoy es lunes and no queremos hacer nada pero anyways today we are going to double check uh quick details uh, from this uh i mean from last topic that we check as well and let me go ahead and review some information at this moment let's see let me share and let me know if you are able to see what i'm checking right now please just a moment Are you able to see what I'm checking right now, guys? The the quote? Yes? Yes, coach. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. So uh, today is Monday, right? So we need to be motivated. We need to be, you know, happy, you know. It's the beginning of the week, and everybody's like, oh, my goodness, today is Monday, hoy es lunes, y no queremos hacer nada, ¿verdad? El comienzo de la semana, pero anyways, we need to be motivated. Let's repeat motivation, please. Come on, let's go. Motivation. 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 Motivation, yes. You need to be motivated all the time, right? So our motivation quote says like this. This is your Monday morning. Remind, reminder that you can handle whatever this week throws at you. All right? Let me repeat it back to you once again. This is your Monday morning. Reminder that you can handle whatever this week throws at you. Okay? Let's repeat. This is your Monday morning. This is your Monday, is Monday, your Monday, Monday. Monday, Monday. Monday morning. Reminder that you can handle. Reminder, Reminder that, that, that you can, can handle. handle. Reminder that you can handle. Whatever this week, this week throws at you. Whatever this week throws at you. All right, what it that means? Uh, que este, este es, es la mañana del lunes, ¿verdad? Un recordatorio de que tú lo puedes lo puedes hacer, que tú lo puedes, eh, lo puedes, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Mantener, lo puedes eh, prácticamente analizar de la mejor manera y lo que te tire o lo que te haga este, esta semana, usted está habilitado para sostenerlo, ¿ok? Entonces, esa es la motivación de este día, que tenemos que estar motivated porque hoy es lunes y es un recordatorio para usted que lo puede hacer. All right, usted lo puede hacer, no se deje vencer a las primeras, usted puede salir adelante, lo que pase, pase lo que pase, lo que le tire esta semana, pues usted lo va a completar de la mejor manera. All right, so mande un like if, it's, if it is possible and I will believe you. Le voy a creer si me manda un like, si no, pues yo lo doy como también que lo entendió o no lo entendió, ¿verdad? Very good, very good. Thank you, Wendy. I'm sorry, Sofia. Thank you. Everybody, thank you ever. Let's see. Yes. All right. Excellent. So now uh, let's repeat one more time. This is your Monday morning. This is your Monday morning. Reminder that you can handle. Reminder that you can handle. 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 Whatever this week. Whatever this, week, whatever, this week, week. whatever this week, whatever this week, whatever this week, this week throws at you, throws at you. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, let's see. 
Uh, okay, so now uh, let's go ahead and double check our uh, tongue twister. So let me read it for you. It says like this. Let me know if you are able to see the tongue twister. Lo pueden ver? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. Excellent. All right. It says like this. Any noise annoys an oyster, but a noise annoys a noise and an oyster more. All right. So let me repeat it back to you. Any noise annoys and an oyster, but a noise, noise, a noise, and an oyster more. All right, very good. All right, let's see. Gamaliel, repeat it, please. Said. Yes. Any noise and a noise and oyster, but the noise in noisy noise and noise and oyster more. Very good. Uh Sophia, please go ahead. And noise and noise and oyster. Uh, noise, noise, and noise, and oyster more. Excellent. Uh, Jenny, please go ahead. Any noise, and noise, and oyster, but a noise, noise, uh, a noise, and oyster more. Excellent. All right, Ever, please go ahead. Any noise, and noise, and oyster, but but a noise, noise, a noise, and a noise there more. Excellent. Let's see who else. Um, Wendy, virus, please go ahead. Salomon, please go ahead. Any noise, a noise, an oyster, but, but a noise, noise, a noise, an oyster more. Excellent. Let's see who else is here. Um, Elsie Santos, please go ahead. Any noise, a noise, and oyster, but a noise, noise, a noise, and oyster more. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So, guys, as you can see, we are basically practicing, we are practicing, you know, uh, a lot of information, and the reason that we are checking this uh, lovely quotes and tongue twisters, uh, let me tell you that it's going to help you to uh, make your pronunciation or, you know, your yeah your pronunciation better, better and better and better, all right? So uh, let's see who else is here. Uh, Fatima, please go ahead. Fatima Diaz, please read uh, read the tongue twister, please. Okay, she's not here. Wendy, are you, uh, Wendy Virus, are you here? Okay. No. All right, guys. So uh, today we are going to double check uh, quick details about the previous topic. All right. So if I ask uh, Gamaliel, tell me a sentence with a preposition of place. What would be your sentence? Tell me. Oh. Of place, if it's... Could you please tell me a sentence where you apply a preposition of place? Uh, yes. Uh, I am on my house. I am in my house, uh-huh. Uh, studying English. I am in my house studying English. Where is the preposition? Um, okay, I am in. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Okay, let's see. Uh, Elsie, tell me a sentence with a preposition on it, please. Her glasses are above the table. On the table. On the table. On the table. Very good. Very good. All right. So let's see. Uh, Jenny, please tell me a sentence with a preposition on it. Yes, Jenny. Please, 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 please. Uh, okay. Um, no sé cuál es. No, no, you can do it. You can do it. Tell me. You can do it. Uh, Remember, 
remember yes. remember how to build a sentence, all right? So subject, okay. verb, and complement. All right, remember. My sister is next to my friend's Ulysses. All right, very good. All right, so let's see. Thank you, Jenny. You see, you, you can do it. Let's see. Uh, Nancy, Celeste, please send me a sentence with uh, a preposition on it. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. I don't understand. Could you, could you okay. explain me? Sure. Please? Tell me a sentence. Dígame una oración con una preposición eh, de lugar o de, o, o de tiempo. A place, uh, a sentence, una oración, por favor. Tell mm. me a sentence with a preposition on it. Uh, you have uh, you have a few a few mangoes mm, do you have a few mangoes mm, that is not a preposition that is uh remember what uh, what we mentioned last class que es a few que es a little que es eso que que dijimos que eran algún voluntario que dijimos que era few little a couple con verbo nouns. Voy a escuchar el tipo y las metas. I'm sorry, Ever. Dígamelo de nuevo. Con countable nouns. Uh, countable nouns. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Countable, not countable. My question, countable. Nancy, is tell me a sentence with a preposition. Podría ser preposition of place or, or time. Preposición de tiempo o de lugar. <laughs> Mm, just, just, I don't know. You can do it, you can do it. Te lo puede hacer. You, you go to near, to near the drugstore. No mm. algo así. Uh, en español, dígame en español, para uh, figurarla. No sé, tú, ah, hay como queriéndole decir que puede ir a una tienda que está cerca de la farmacia. Ok. You can, you can go to the pharmacy near to your house. You can uh -huh. go to the pharmacy near to your house. Por ejemplo, tú puedes ir a la farmacia cerca de tu casa. You can go to the pharmacy near to your house. All right. So, very good, very good. We have the ideas. All right. So the reason that I'm asking questions, guys, is because you need to know. La razón por la cual les estoy haciendo preguntas es porque usted tiene que ahorita tener la facilidad de cómo crear una oración y entenderla, obviamente, ¿verdad? lo que se le pregunta. Porque una oración, si yo le solo le digo, dígame, Nancy, una oración en inglés, de cualquiera, usted me la dice, ¿verdad? O sea, y así es simple. O sea, solo, pero quiero que entienda lo que yo le estoy preguntando. ¿verdad? Identificarla. Sí. Identificarla, exacto, esa es la palabra. Esa es la para identificarla. Pero ya si yo le digo, ok, Nancy, could you, could you please tell me a sentence with a preposition on it? Ahí ya le estoy yo recalcando, ¿verdad? Que quiero una, una oración con una preposición pegada al tema, ¿verdad? Ever, tell me a sentence, please, with a preposition on it. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. My my place works. My my workplace is in front of the bus station of Citran. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, Gamaliel, please tell me a sentence. Gamaliel, are you there? All right. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah teacher. <laughs> Okay, tell me, a, tell me a sentence with a with a preposition on it. Uh, my workplace is located on the road that drive to Santa Ana. My workplace is located on the route. The road. Mm, okay, okay, understood, understood. Yes, very good, very good. Uh, Flor, please tell me a sentence with a preposition on it. 
Good morning, teacher. Good, Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. No, Ajá. sorry. No, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Me voy okay. levantando. Okay. Qué linda. All right. De hecho, voy entrando, teacher. No sé qué están hablando. ¿Qué una, que dígame una oración con una preposición de la que se recuerde. Una oración ah, con okay. preposición de tiempo o de lugar. All right. Tell me a sentence with a preposition on it. Ay, no, no me acuerdo. Mm. Ok, formulela, formulela. Elsie, tell me a preposition, okay. please. Ah, perdón, uh, a sentence with a preposition on it. Elsie. Ay, preposition? No, a sentence with a preposition on it. Una oración con mm. una preposición, con una preposición en la, en la oración. Mm. Si ¿Sí me explico, ¿sí? Sí. Okay, go ahead. Okay, formula la Salomón, tell me a preposition with a preposition on it. Yes. I have a meeting at three. No. I have a meeting at five PM. Very good, excellent. Julio, a preposition on it. I mean, a, a sentence with a preposition on it, please. Julio. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Tell me a, preposi uh, a sentence with a preposition on it. Eh, hace poquito me acabo de conectar, profesor. Eh, uh, Dígame una oración con una preposición. Era adelante, atrás, y de, eh, a, la, a la par y todo eso. Exacto, esas son las preposiciones. Dígame una oración. Mm. The cat is about the box, of box. The cat is about of the box. Of the box. The cat is about the box. Okay, very good. Excellent. Elsie, please. The mouse. Uh huh. Round below your chair. The mouse round below your chair. 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 Oh. Sure. 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 Very good. excellent. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Okay. Let's see. Uh, who else is here? All right. Uh, Flor, please tell me a sentence. My pencil um, is on the table. Your pencil is on the table. Very good. Very good. Uh, Sofia, please tell me a sentence. I am in the supermarket. I am in the supermarket. Okay, very good. All right, let's see. Uh, who else? ¿Quién no ha participado? Vamos a ver. Salomón. Oh, no, ya me, ya me lo dijo. Ya me lo dijo, perdón. Okay. Uh, let's see. Jenny, please. Yo participé, teacher. Okay, okay. Decir otra? okay, excellent. Very good. All right, guys. Excellent. Oh, okay. The reason that we are asking questions, uh, as we said before, right, is because you guys need to understand, you need to identify questions about anything. Usted tiene la razón por la cual estamos haciendo las preguntas es porque usted tiene que identificar las oraciones de lo que el eh, la, la persona le, 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 le quiera preguntar, ¿verdad? Valga la redundancia. Entonces, usted tiene que estar pendiente, ¿verdad? So, if I said just, uh, Jenny, please tell me five different colors. Tell me five different colors, Jenny. Now. No le entendí la pregunta, Teacher. Tell me five different colors. Tell me five different. Esta es una pregunta así, random. Así al, al azar. Solo quiero que ver cómo estamos de, de este con la tenemos toda la capacidad, pero quiero saber cómo ustedes captan las preguntas. All right, tell me five different colors. ¿Cuál es mi color favorito? 
no, tell me no. five different colors, five different ones. Ah, que le diga cinco colores yes. diferentes. Yes, yes, ah, okay. yes. Uh, green, yellow, pink, black, and white. Very good, very good. All right, so uh, tell me, uh, Sofia, tell me the numbers from 10 to 1. From 10 to 1. Cinco nombres. No, diez nombres. No, tell me the numbers from 10 to 1. Ahorita solo estoy preguntando, dime, dime los números del... Yes, Aluno. Tell me the numbers from 10 to 1. From 10, yes. From 10 to 1. Okay. 30, 10. Uh -huh. Nine. Yes. Uh, okay, from 1 to 10. Go ahead. Uh, Ten, one. Oh, ah, no, okay. One, two, three, uh -huh. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good, excellent. Salomon, from the tell me the numbers from twenty to ten. Time you. Okay, okay. Uh, twenty two. Ten. From Ay, twenty sí. from twenty to ten. Del Ay. 20 del veinte al diez. Dígame los números. Del veinte hasta el diez. Twenty. Eh... Ay, ¿cómo se dice? Nineteen. Nineteen. Ajá. Eighteen. Seventeen. Nineteen. Uh -huh. Sixteen. 15, 14, 30, 12, 11, 10. Excellent. All right. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's see. Gamaliel, tell me yes. uh, five different things that you can, that you that you have in front of you. Five different things. Things. Different things. Uh-huh. Uh, thing? Things. Things means cosas. Uh, things, things. Things. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Um, bottle. Mm -hmm. uh, what chair? else? Chair. chair. Okay. A spoon. Spoon. Box. Box. Uh huh. Um, Cook, cooking, or cooking, cocina. Mm -hmm. Oh, kitchen. Kitchen. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Not a problem, Gabriel. Okay. Uh, Julio, tell me five different colors. Red, green, yellow. Ivory, uh -huh. uh, white. White, very good, very good. Okay, let's see. Uh, Nancy, please, um, let's see. How are you, Nancy? How are you doing tonight? You look you look so smile. I mean, you're smiling, right? You're like sonriente, all right? So, uh, Nancy, tell me, uh, let's see, tell me, Five different things that you have in front of you or next to you. Table, chair, tie, shoes, iron. Iron, okay. Another one? Books. Very good, very good. Elsie, thank you, Nancy. Elsie, tell me the numbers from 100 to 90. <laughs> 199 uh -huh. 98 92 no 97 96 
Ninety one and ninety, right? Very good, very good, excellent. Uh, ever tell me the numbers from ninety to eighty. Sí. Excellent, ninety to eighty. Nairi. Me está diciendo del, del, del 9, del 90 al 80. Exactly, yes. Ok. Nairi. Mm -hmm. 80, 89, 88, 87, 86, 85, 84, 83, 82, 81, 80. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Sofia, tell me five different animals. Names. Um, rabbit. Animals, yes. Uh, lion. Lion. And... Dog, cat. Dog, cat, uh huh. Two more. Uh, Fish. What? No le escuché, no le escucho. Soy, soy muy lejos. I'm sorry, fish. Oh, fish. Okay, excellent. Very good. All right, so, uh, Flor, tell me five different colors. Um, five different colors. Color. Pink. Pink, uh -huh. Colors. Mm -hmm. Red, uh -huh. black, uh -huh. green, uh -huh. and light blue. Very good. Excellent, uh, Fleur. Okay, let's see. Uh, what else? ¿Quién más está aquí? Lleve Wendy Baires, creo que se fue. No sé qué pasó con ella. Vamos a ver. Um... Okay, guys, uh, that's the reason that we are asking questions, right? So just to see if you are able to identify the words. I mean, the the, the questions, I'm sorry. All right, so if I ask you, uh, Nancy, how old are you? What will be your answer? I am 49 years old. 49 years old, very good. And uh, Julio, how old are you? I am 35 years old. Excellent, Elsie, how old are you? I am 27 years old. 27 years old. Elsie, uh, I'm sorry, Jenny, thank you. Jenny, how old are you? I am 22 years old. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, Flora, how old are you? I am um, 38 years old. 38 years old, okay. Ever, yes. Ever, how old are you? I am 36 years old. Excellent. When the, uh, Sophia, how old are you? Sophia, how old are you, Sophia? How old are you? Uh, I am. How, mi, mi, mi pregunta es, how old are you? Ah, I am. Tengo? Exactly, yes. How old are you? Uh, uh, 20, 26. I am 26 years old. I am 26, yes. Years old, all right? Repeat, I am yes. 26 years old. I am 26 years old. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay, let's see. Uh, Gamaliel, how old are you? I am 58 year old. Old. Okay, very good. Very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nancy, where do you live? I live in Mexicanos. Very good. Where do you live, Flor? I live in Santa Tecla. Very good. Elsie, where do you live? 
I live in San Salvador. Excellent. Ever, where do you live? I live in I live in San Vicente, but I I but I want to move to San from San Salvador. To San Salvador. Okay, excellent. Let's see, uh, Gamaliel, where where do you live? I live in Santa Ana. Excellent, Jenny. Where do you live? I live in San Andres. All right. Uh, thank you, uh, Julio. Where do you live? I live in Mexicanos, San Salvador. Ex excellent, uh, Sofia. Where do you live? I live in Marriott. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. So let's see what else I can ask you. Um, well, those questions, you need to have those questions here like this, right? Like you need to manage those questions right away. Usted tiene que manejar esas preguntas y respuestas rápido, ¿verdad? O sea, si yo le digo, de, dígame cinco colores, usted rápido dice rojo, azul, negro, blanco, verde. O sea, rápido, sí, pero y yo le pregunto, quiero ver a quién más no le he preguntado, quién está acá. Vamos a ver. Eso que solo le pregunta los mismos. Oh, Fátima, dígame, uh, tell me uh, five different colors. Green, purple, sky blue, blue, white, black. Excellent. Very good. Let's see. Uh, Jocelyn, tell me five different things that you have in front of you. Jocelyn, tell me five different things that you have in front of you. Dígame cinco cosas que tenga enfrente de usted, o a la par, o, o alrededor suyo. Um, a Alcohol, um, uh, family, um, the doctor. Mm -hmm. Tiene un doctor enfrente de usted? Eh, yeah, que estoy en una clínica. Ah, una familia, okay. Entonces está en cargo de oh. mi familia. Oh, very good, Pero very good. Estoy... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ok, very good, very good. Le preguntaba porque dije yo, tiene un doctor enfrente de ella, dije, está en la casa, pero. All right, so, very good, very good. So, the question, the, 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 I mean, the question, Jocelyn, and everybody is to identify, right, the questions that you need to, usted tiene que identificar el tipo de preguntas, ¿verdad? Si le pregunta, por ejemplo, ahorita usted está en la clínica, le van a decir, supongamos que usted está en la clínica, esto es plural, ¿verdad? Estamos en la clínica y le dicen, Uh, may I have your name, please? What will be your answer, Jocelyn? Si la señorita de que está en la, en la recepción le dice, may I have your name? What will be your answer? Yo soy el de la, el, yo soy el recepcionista, yo le digo, may I have your name, Nancy? May I have your name, please? May I have your name? O sea, usted llegó a la clínica y yo le digo, okay, how can I help you? Uh, how can I help you, miss? May I have your name? What would be your answer? My name is Nancy. Nancy, very good. Excellent. Very good. Easy, easy. All right. So, and Jocelyn, yo le pregunto, Jocelyn, may I have your name? What would be your answer? Uh, my name is Diana. Very good. Excellent. Easy money. Así, facilito. All right, y ahí le van a empezar a hacer preguntas, ¿verdad? Ok, uh, how can I help you? ¿En qué le puedo ayudar? Uh, tell me your age, I mean, how old are you? Where do you live? Uh, do you have a, I mean, are you married or are you single? So, todas esas preguntas usted tiene que identificarlas, right? So, if I ask you, Jocelyn, are you married? What would be your answer? Are you married? Uh -huh. Are you are you married? Um, Re remember that this is a sure answers and 
Just no questions, all right? So, are you married? Nancy, are you married? No, I'm not. Okay, uh, Jenny, are you married? No, I'm not. Flor, are you married? Are you married? Are you married? Yes. Married. Married. What Mary? Mary. What Mary means? Si está casada. Are you married? Ah. Uh, <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> very good. Very good. Very good. All right. Let's see. Uh, Elsie, are you married? No, I'm not. Okay. Ever, are you married? Yes, I am. Yes, I am married. Okay, excellent. Sophia, are you married? No, I do not. No, I'm not. Okay. Julio, no, are I'm you married? Are you married, Julio? Uh, I am not. No, I'm not. Okay, very good, very good. All right, see, so we need to identify, you know, uh, the questions that we are asking. All right, lovely kitty. Very not very lovely kitty. Estoy viendo ahí un kitty, kitty, kitty. Un gatito bien bello. All right, so, all right, so let's see. Uh, let's practice uh, our questions or our topic that we had before. El gatito está... <laughs> Él quiere participar también. All right, so uh, let's repeat. There is and there are. There, there is, is and there are. Excuse me. Okay, so definition about uh, there is and there are. We use there mm -hmm. is to say that to say that something exists or is in a place. There is a bridge in the park. We use there is for singular nouns and there are for plural nouns. There is a restaurant and the station. There are two ca two cafe two ca two cafes and the shopping center. All right, so there are two cafes and the shopping center. Okay, very good. Let's repeat. Let's see. We use or let's see. Elsie, could you please uh, tell me the definition? This one. Read it for me, please, for everybody. This, uh, this um, we use. There is. To say that something ex exists or is in a place. There is a bridge in the park. We use there is for singular nouns and there are for plural nouns. There is a restaurant in the station. There are two coffees in the shopping center. Excellent. Julio, please read that for me. We use there is to say that something exists or, exists or is in a place. There is a bridge in the park. We use there is for singular nouns and there are for plural nouns. There is a restaurant in the station. There are two coffees. There are two cafes in the shopping center. Excellent. Thank you, uh, thank you uh, Julio. So, Sofia, please read that for me. We use there is to say that something exists in the place. There is a break in the park. We usually, I'm sorry, they, we use there is singular nouns and there are four plural nouns. There is restaurant in the station. We're at two coffees in the shopping center. Excellent. Uh, Flor, please read that for me. We use there is to say that something exists or is in a place. There is a break, a break uh, in the park. We use there is for singular noun and there are for plural noun. There is a restaurant in the station. There are two coffees 
in the shopping and the shopping center. Center. Excellent. Center. Okay. Ex excellent. Very good. Let's repeat. A uh, bridge. Bridge. Uh, bridge. Bridge. Everybody, bridge. 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 Nouns. 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 Shopping. 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 All right, very Shopping. good. Okay. Excellent. Uh, Jenny, please read that for me. We just say there is to say that something at six hours in the, is in a place, there is a bridge in the park. We you say there is four singular noun, nouns and there are four plural nouns. There is a restaurant in the station. There are two cafes in the shopping center. Thank you, Nancy, please. We use there is to say that something exists or is in a place. There is a bridge in the park. We use there is for singular nouns and there, and there are for plural nouns. There is a restaurant in the station. There are two cafes in the shopping center. Excellent. Let's see, uh, Ever, please. We use there is to say that some, something exists or in a place. There is a bridge in the park. We use there is from singular nouns and and there are for plural nouns. There is a restaurant in the station. There is a there there are two coffees in the shopping center. Excellent. Uh Salomon, please. We we'll use there is to say that something exir perdón, Essex or is in a place. There is a bright in the park we use there is for singular nouns and there are for plural nouns there is restaurant is the station there are two coffees in the shopping center excellent gamaliel please go ahead we use there is to say that something exists or is or is in a place there is a branch in the in the park, we use there is for singular nouns, and there are for for plural nouns. There is a restaurant in the station. There are two coffees in the shopping center. Okay, thank you, uh, Fatima. Please read that for me. We use there is to say that something exists or or is in a place. There is a bridge in the park. We use there, there is for singular nouns and there are for plural nouns. There is a restaurant in the station. There are two coffee, cafes and the shopping center. Excellent, very good, very good. Let's see everybody participate. Okay guys, uh, the reason that we are reading this is because we need to understand what, where and how we are going to use there is and there are. Si yo le pregunto, uh, Elsie, where, or tell me the difference between there is and there are, what would be your answer? Um, for example, there are pencils. There are pencils, uh huh. There is a pen. There is a pen, all right. So, eh, si en español, dígame cuál fue, cuál es la diferencia en esos dos ejemplos que me acaba de dar. Una está hablando de plural y la otra es en singular. Very good. There Excellent. are se ocupa para plural y there is para singular. Excellent. Easy money. Very good. Uh, Ever, tell me an example, please, about there is or there are. There is there is a car in the in the there is a car in the in the street on the street on the street okay there Break. are there are many many flowers in the gardens excellent very good Julio tell me an example about there is or there are
cualquiera, uno o uno, los dos, dígame, no se preocupe. There is or there are. Basado en la información que me, le, eh, me leyeron hace un momento, ¿ok? Si usted se fija, dice... Debe ser otro ejemplo, ¿no? Otro ejemplo, claro. Acuérdese lo que estamos, lo que me acaba de leer es la definición a dónde lo va a, eh, a, dónde lo va a utilizar y cómo. There, there is a car in the parking. There is a car in the parking. Okay, excellent. Very good. Flor, tell me a, a, an example about, about there is or there are. Flor. Excuse me. Uh, tell me an example about there is or there are. Okay. Um, there are many, many books. Books there. in, there are many books in the library. Library, very good, excellent, uh-huh. Um, there is... There is pencil. There is a, a pencil. There is a pencil. Okay, excellent. Gamaliel, tell me uh, yeah. tell me an example, please, about there is and there are. There is a dog in the black chair. There is. There are, mm -hmm. there are many bears on the tree. There are many what? I'm sorry. Many bears. Bears. Oh, many bears, bears. Okay, bears. Okay, very good, very good. Excellent. Uh, Nancy, tell me an example. There is or there are. There is candy for the children. There is, there, there is candy for the children, huh? There are a lot of companies. There are a lot of companies. There are a lot of companies. All right, so cuando me dijo there is a candy for, for the children's, me está diciendo que hay un dulce children, para... Children. Para, children, ajá. Me está diciendo que hay un dulce para los niños. Solo uno. For the child. Mm -hmm. No, pero me dice que hay... Me dijo candy. Ya. Yeah. There Solo... is candy for okay. the child. Oh, for, 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 the, for the child. Ok, por uno, ¿verdad? Por, there is. Ajá, ok. Yeah, for the uh, child. For the child, ok, ok, ok. Acuérdense que eh, si, si vamos a decir, vamos a hablar en plural, tenemos que acordémonos de mencionar la letra S, ¿verdad? En las cosas, por ejemplo, candies. Yeah. Candies. Mm -hmm. There are candies for the children, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Pero le digo yo, cuando me dijo, there are a candy for the children, me quedé, hay un dulce para los niños, o sea. Sí, se van son, a pelear. Se van a pelear, ajá. <ríe> <laughs> exactly. All right. Very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Gamaliel, tell me uh, an example. Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, there is a cat on on this on the floor. Uh huh. There are very animals. Okay. All right. Uh, Excellent. Mm -hmm. There are many animals. Where? Many animals in the black jar. In, back, in the back jar. Okay, excellent. Ever, tell me an example. There are many, there, there are hens in, in the jar, in the jar. Mm -hmm. there, there is an eraser on the table. Okay, excellent. Safia, tell me an example, please, about there is and there are. They are have a flow. Mm -hmm. um, they are is the pencil. Okay, excellent. Fatima, tell me an example, please. <clears throat> there is a chair next to the desk, and there are a report on the desk. Okay, excellent, excellent, very good. Uh, Salomon, tell me an example, please. Salomon. Creo que se fue Salomon. Vamos a ver. Sí, se fue. 
All right, uh, Diana Ruda, send me an example, please, about there is or there are. Okay, let's see. What's ever? Okay, let's answer these questions that we have here. All right, so I don't know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now. Let me just uh, close this right now and let me open this one over here. Let's see. Just a moment. All right, so there is and there are. Okay, number one, there, then there is an end of it, all right? And there are so many of them. So, la número, la número tres sería, there is or there are uh, several ways of doing this. There are. There are. There are. Why, why there are? Any why, volunteer? Why, why is in plural? Several ways. 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 Several ways is in plural. Plural, in plural, plural, right? There, yes. there are several ways of doing this. Okay, number four, there is Did or you... there are. Yes. Excuse me, pero es que no está yes. compartiendo. No, okay, I'm sorry. One second. My bad. Thank you, Flor. For, you know, now, can you see that? You're welcome, teacher. Yes. Thank you. All right. Number three, it's uh, there is several. There are several several ways of doing this. Number four. There is or there are. There the is. There is. There is dark forms at the doors. Forms. There are. There are. They are. There are dark forms, right, at the doors. All right, so excellent. Number five. There is or there are. There is. There is. There is. There is. There is nothing there is nothing we can do. All right. So why there is uh Jenny? Porque just there is, you know there are. Porque dice no hay nada que no podamos hacer. Uh -huh. Está Excellent. hablando en plural. Excellent. Very good. Very good answer. Thank you uh Jenny. Uh number 6 there is or there are. There is. There is work to be done here. Why there is, Flor? Well, teacher. Por qué number? Number six. Why there number is two. and no there are. Por qué no? Por qué es there is y no there are? Any volunteer? I mean, anybody can help me here? Um, allí trabajo. There are not. There are. There no, are no. or there is. There are. I, I there? believe. I believe is there are. Why? Because why say no. Because they no two ways about it. Está hablando de dos formas, de dos dos maneras acerca de. Estamos en la número seis. Ah, en el número seis. Sí. There are words you don't hear. There, there is why the bear is in, is in, in singular. There work. is, right? Work there is singular. Is. All right, so. Singular. There is work to be done here. Hay trabajo que completar aquí, dice ahí, ¿verdad? Hay trabajo, estamos hablando del trabajo. Okay, number seven. Uh, there is or there are. They are. There are. Uh, why? Why? Why there are? Porque está hablando de cantidad de dos maneras de hacer las cosas. Okay, there are not. There are not two ways about it, right? So I don't. I dos maneras. I no. Me dice there are not two ways. No hay dos maneras acerca de. All right. So number eight. Thank you. Number eight. There is or there are. There are. There are, there, are there are women and children among them. Why there are and no there is? Because for women, women and children. Women and children. 
Yeah, women and Lucas. children. Very good. There are women and children among them. All right. So excellent. All right. So que es aman? Um. Que es para ustedes? Esta, esta donde dice aman. Que es? Es. Ya lo vimos, acuérdese que lo vimos. Sí. Entre. Entre. Ah, pero ¿qué es? Preposition. Place. Preposition. Uh, preposition of place. Preposition. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Number nine. Uh, there is or there are? There are. There are. There. Why there are, uh, guys? There, there are, are other things to be remembered. Other things. 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 Right? Things. things. Uh, I... There are, hay muchas otras cosas para ser recordadas, ¿verdad? All right, so, number 10. There is or there are. There are. There are. There are. Why there are? There are several, several answers. Arms plural. Plural answer is plural. Excellent. One second, vamos a cerrar aquí. All right. Excellent, excellent. Number... Number yeah. number eleven. There is or there are. There are. They are. There are several men uh, men among the students. All right, very good. So number twelve. There is or there, there is. are. There is. There is nothing the matter with him. Okay, excellent. Number thirteen. There are. There are. There are. Why there are? Porque está hablando de lugares. Places. Lugar. Places. Very places. good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. All right. Number 14. There is or there are? There is. There is. There is. Okay. There is not danger this time. Okay. Number 15. There is or there are? There is. There is. There is my hand is. on it. All right. There is my hand on it. All right. So la habla de una mano, verdad? I there is there is my hand on it. Está mi mano ahí a la a la para servir, verdad? Okay. Number sixteen. There is or there are. There are. They are. There are a great many. No. There are a great many trees here. All right. There there is a great. Okay. There are. Okay. So number seventeen. There is or there are? There are. There are. There are. There are some good names to it. Okay, number 18. There is. There is. There is, there an, is. There is another one over, over there. Okay, excellent. Number 19. There is or there are? There, there are. are. There are. Yeah. There are too many trees in America. Okay, and number 20. There are. They are. There are respectable opinions on both sides. All right, let's see. One second. All right, let's see. Uh, are we clear with this, with the, with the topic that we are checking, guys, that we are reviewing from last week? Estamos claros con este tema que che chequeamos las, que vimos la semana pasada. There is and there are. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So what I like what I like from you guys is that you are basically understanding where and how you are going to uh answer or or double check the questions that we are be, that, that we've been checking, all right? So me encanta que están eh, identificando las preguntas y las respuestas al mismo tiempo dónde la va a aplicar y cómo la va a decir, ¿verdad? O sea, eso es interesante porque se nota que está usted aprendiendo un poco, ¿verdad? Entonces, no hay uh, que preocuparse en este caso. Vamos a dejar de compartir. Permítanme, voy a pasar lista en este momento. Cámara on, please. Acuérdense que tiene que estar la cámara encendidita para yo poder pasar lista, ¿ok? O para que le cuente, mejor dicho. All right, Alexa Lucia Mendez Perez. Ana Elsie Santo Gomez. Present. 
Thank you. Diana Beatriz Rudas Hueso. Present. Thank you. Uh, Diana Jocelyn Borja de Núñez. Diana Jocelyn Borja de Núñez. Bueno, Dianita estaba acá, pero no sé, ¿verdad? Yo creo que está en el hospital. Ahorita dijo que estaba en el hospital. Ok. Uh, Elías Ulises Ayala Muñoz. Elías Ulises Ayala Muñoz. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Esmeralda Grisel Castro Ayala. Ever Alexander López Martínez. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Fátima del Rosario Díaz de Hueso. Present. Thank you. Gamaliel Martínez Escobar. I hear. Thank you. Guadalupe del Carmen Mendoza uh, Solórzano. Jonathan Alfredo Mengíbar Acevedo. Julio Ernesto Saí Molina Mejía. Present. Thank you. Lilian Marlin Barrera Castillo. Uh, Nancy Elizabeth Solís Sánchez. Present. You. Rosalinda Joana Letona Marroquín. Orfa Lisset Barrera de Payés. Uh, Salomón Heriberto Rivera Chacón. I am here, coach. Thank you. Samuel Antonio Rivera Hernández. Wendy Sofía Orellana Calderón. Present I'm here, coach. Thank you. Wendy Janet Baires Rojas. I am here, teacher. Thank you, miss. Senia Jamilet Nieto de Orellana. Jenny Carolina Tobar Velázquez. Present. And Flor de Maria de Torres. I mean, Flor de Maria Valladares de Torres. Oh, sorry. Okay, Flor de Maria Valladares de Torres. Okay, excellent. Let's see. <laughs> okay, excellent. Let's see. All right. So, si no he mencionado a alguien, díganmelo ahorita. Y continuamos. All right. So, so there. All right, let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now, guys. Can you see that? Yes? Yes, thank you. Excellent, all right. So last class, remember that we were, we've were we been checking so far uh, how to use simple prepositions of place, all right? So, and we were checking, remember last class, the, uh, the prepositions, que se, estuvimos chequeando las preposiciones que se usan, and, uh, yes. Uh, que se usan en las, en las calles. Uh, ok, so, por ejemplo, decimos on 4 Avenue. Let's repeat, on 4 Avenue. On 4 Avenue. In El Salvador. In El Salvador. Mm -hmm. At the meeting room. At the meeting room. On the corner. On the corner. In San Salvador. In San Salvador. In San Salvador. At work. At, at work. work. Or at work. On the street. On, on the, the street. street. In the park. In the park. In the, park. In the, park. In the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. At the bank. At, at the, the bank. bank. <laughs> so, okay, so over here, let's see, it says like this, right? Complete the location of each item using the correct preposition of place. Compare with your partner, okay? So, ¿cuál sería la respuesta en cada una de ellas? Vamos a, a, a verificar cuál es la respuesta, okay? Number one, uh, it says like this, I work in the bank that is um, on, on First Avenue and Various Street, okay? Very good. Uh, we see you. We see you. At. At, at the training room or. At the training room or. At. Or, or at in. The cafeteria. 
or in, on, or at? Or in. In, right? In. So we see you at the training room or in the cafeteria. All right, very good. Number. In. Uh, number two. Number two. The factory is located. In. In. In La Libertad. In La Libertad. Okay. Okay, so number five, my relatives go to the mall that is Roosevelt, that is where? On, on the um, hook, the store. Okay, my relatives, my relatives go to the mall that is on Roosevelt Street. Okay, yes. and number four, Anna works in the company that is? In town. In town, in right? Town. Okay, excellent. All right, number six, tell him that we are at at ya está ahí el at. Ya está ahí el at, ¿verdad? Entonces está como mal, mal redactado, ¿verdad? Esto está aquí mal redactado, parte de acá. So tell him that we are at the meeting room. Excellent. All right, so let's see. Let's see. One second. All right, so let's read this part over here, which says uh, addresses and places. Repeat, addresses and places. Addresses and places. Addresses and places. Okay, so I would be able to ask and tell people the specific location of places and directions surrounding my, surrounding, surrounding my workplace. All right, listen to your teacher, the conversation, then practice with a partner. Se lo voy a leer primero y después lo vamos a hacer como lo hemos hecho siempre, ¿verdad? Dice, está Will and Tania, ¿ok? So, le dice, dice Will, hello, can you help me? Where is that Melbourne building? I don't live here. Le dice Tania, don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know, I know it. It's down this is down the street on the left side. Thanks, they said. Will thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot, they say Tanya. There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. All right. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, so Gamaliel and Nancy, please. Uh, Gamaliel, Will, and Nancy, Tania, go ahead. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't hear. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I had to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Daniel? There are a lot of training center on the building between Main and Kai and Kian Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, excellent. Let's repeat. Uh, buildings. Buildings. Uh, buildings. Buildings. Let's re let's repeat. Uh, there are. There let's are. are. Uh, let's repeat. Uh, centers. Centers. Hello. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, okay, something else. Interviews. Let's repeat interviews. Interviews. Usted lo puede decir interviews, right? Pero acuérdense que estamos agarrando un, un acento diferente, ¿verdad? Una pronunciación más nativa, ¿verdad? Entonces, si usted, usted lo puede decir interviews, lo puede decir, no hay ningún problema. Si usted tiene problemas con, con la, la pronunciación, a veces nosotros, nosotros como hispanos, la R bien pronunciada, la, la de nosotros, ¿verdad? Porque nosotros decimos todo que es con R, lo, es, lo pronunciamos bien fuerte, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Entonces, por ejemplo, mi nombre, mi nombre es, eh, es René. All right, so American people, 
they said René. Lo, 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 como que lo suavizan un poco. René. All right. So, entonces, aquí donde dice ir interviews, usted lo puede decir de la manera interviews o lo puede decir inter interviews. Interviews. Como que era in interviews. Ajá. Uh -huh. Más suavecito, ¿verdad? Ok, very good. Uh, ever and Flor. Ever will Tania Flor. Go ahead. Ever? I am here. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the, the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings with one do you need? Again, tell me to go to the building on the main street. Main street. I I not I know is as is down the street in the left side. Thanks. I had to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Uh, uh, there, there are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King, King Street. I have some, I have some interview in the builder, then you, then thanks. You again, again, bye bye. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, guys. Elsie, be Will, and Sophia, be Tanya. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Mil Milborn building? I don't live with her. Don't worry. They are for bullying. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I can't eat. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? They are a lot training center on the bowling being my a king string. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Thank you guys. Uh, let's see. Diana Ruras be Will and let's see. Salomon be Tanya. Okay. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the mural building? I don't live here. Diana Ruiz, are you there? Diana is not here. I believe she's not there. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So uh, let's see, Fatima, B. Tanya. Okay, start, start over, Salomon. Salomon va a ser Will and Tania va a ser Fatima. Go ahead. Excellent. Thank you. Hello. Can you help me? Where is their mule? Excuse me. Where is their mule board building? I don't like her. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? Uh, you told me to go the two building on the my street. I know, I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something or is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some is there intervening there. Thank you. A guy, bye bye. Excellent. Very good. Bye. Okay. Let, thank you. Very good. Okay. Uh, Julio and Wendy. Julio uh, be Will and Wendy Virus be Tanya. Hello. 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 Hello.
Go ahead, Julio. Take... Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Uh, don't worry. They are for building which own do you need? A girl to me go a girl told me to go to the building in Main Street. I don't know. Is it I don't know. Is it down the street on the left side? Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? They are a love on train center on the building between my and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Excellent, excellent. Let's see. Uh, Jocelyn and. Quien ha participado? Vamos a ver. Jocelyn and Jenny, please. Uh, Jocelyn B. Will and Jenny B. Tanya. Go ahead. Hello. Can you help me? What is this? May for me. Bullies. Bullies. Buildings. I don't. I like. I love her. I love her. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? Um, agree, agree, told me to go to, go to the building. Um, um, name a strip. I know it, it is down the strip on the left side. Thank you. I ha I have a to to have to 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 make health is is there's a train center. There are a lot a lot of training center on the building between May and the King and the King Street. I have some in the inter. Interviewing her. Thank you, too. Against by pay. Okay, excellent. Okay, uh, Flor and. No sé si ha participado Flor. O le falta. Ya, teacher, pero y me duele un poquito la garganta. Okay, not a problem. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. All right, guys. So, as you can see, uh, Will and Tanya, they have a conversation or uh, a dialogue, right? So, Related that uh, Will is basically looking for help. Relacionado que Will anda buscando ayuda. Le dice, hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Le dice, hola, ¿me puedes ayudar? ¿Dónde queda el edificio Melbourne? Yo no vivo aquí. Okay, uh, I don't live here. Yo no, yo no soy de aquí, ¿verdad? Y viene Tani y le dice, no worries. I mean, no worries. Don't worry. No te preocupes, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? No te preocupes, hay cuatro edificios. ¿Cuál es el que tú necesitas? Y viene Willy y le dice, a girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. Una, una chica me dijo que fuera al, edif al, al edificio en la calle principal. Y en también le dice, I know it. Yo, yo, yo sé, está abajo de la calle, está abajo de la calle a la izquierda, al lado izquierdo. Viene Will y dice, thanks, gracias. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Le dice, gracias. ¿Te puedo preguntar algo más? ¿Hay algún eh, centro de entrenamiento? Viene y le dice, there are a lot of training centers. Hay muchos uh, centros de entrenamiento en los, en, el, en, en los edificios entre la Main Street y la King Street. Hay muchos... Uh, Centro de entrenamiento entre los edificios uh, Main and King Street, la calle Rey, King Street. Y le dice, I have some interviews there. Yo tengo unas entrevistas ahí. Gracias uh, de nuevo y adiós. Bye bye, Liz. Okay. So, very good, very good. So, do you have any questions so far, guys, about this? 
Any meaning? Algo que quieras saber de lo que significa esta conversación? All right, so let's repeat everybody. Hello, can you help me? Hello, can you help me? Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. I don't live here. I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? Which one, Which one do, you need? do you need? A girl told me. A girl, a girl, told, a girl, told, me. told, me. A girl told me. To go to the building on Main Street. To go to the building on Main Street. I know it. I know, I know it. it. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. It's down the street on the, the, street street on the left, left, side. Side. The left side. side. Thanks. 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 I have to ask you something else. I have, I have to, to ask, ask you something else. Something else. Something else. Is there a training center? Is there, there a training center? center? Is there a training center? Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers. There are a lot of training centers. On the building between Main and King Street. On the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. I have some interviews there. Thank, uh, thank you again. Bye bye. Thank, thank you, you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye bye. bye bye. All right. Very good. Excellent. Now let's answer these questions that we have here. All right. So, but uh, let's answer those questions uh, through our breaker rooms. Okay. I'm going to send you to the breaker rooms. Y trate de contestar estas tres preguntas con su pareja. Okay. How many, how many Melbourne buildings are there? Where is the building where Will wants to go? Look where Will wants to go located. How many training centers are there? Where are they? Ok, si entendemos aquí las preguntas, yo se las puedo traducir para que las tenga más claras, ¿verdad? Dice, vamos a ver aquí. Permítame. All right, se la mandé al chat. It dice, how many mail, bell, uh, how many Melbourne buildings are there. ¿Cuántos edificios hay en Melbourne? Where is the building where Will wants to go located? ¿A dónde, uh, ¿a dónde está localizado el edificio donde Will, donde, donde Will quiere, eh, quiere ir? Donde quiere, estar lo, o sea, donde quiere estar él establecido. How many training centers are there? ¿Cuántos uh, centros de entrenamientos hay? ¿Y a dónde están ellos? ¿Ok? So, trate de contestar esas preguntas y ya lo veo en un momentito. ¿Ok? Give me one second. Breaker rooms. All right. Okay, accept them, A, por favor. And join, please. Join. Gamaliel, join, please. Julio, join, please.
Hello, Diana. Let's wait for the rest. Okay. Hello. Yo llegué a mi casa. Okay. Very good. Very good. Me ha estado al 100 en la clase, pero me okay, no pro... poquito. No hay problema, Diana. No hay problema. ¿Qué pasó, ¿Qué pasó Lisa? Ah, uh, yes. Ay, no escuché. Uh, o sea, estaba en el consultorio. Ya voy a pasar lista otra vez, no te preocupes. Ah, ok. Ok, let's see. Let's wait for the rest. Let's see who else is here. Diana and Wendy Byers are here already. Just a moment. Ok, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, guys, so everybody's here. Give me one second. All right, so uh, let's answer number one. How many Melbourne buildings are there? What would be the answer? How many buildings are there? There are four buildings. Four, four buildings. There are four buildings. All right, very good. Where is the building where Will wants to go locate it? Uh, it's down the street on the left side. It's down the street on the left side. Very good. And how many training centers are there? And where are they? There are a lot of lot training centers on the building. On the building. Between Main and King Street. Okay, there are... Well, well, what is that? There are a lot of training centers. Okay. And where are they? Between May and King Street. Excellent. Very good. Very good, guys. You're the best. Okay, let's see. All right. So let's uh, double check one more time. Uh, let's repeat. There is and there are. There is. And there, there are. There are. Excellent. There are. Excellent. All right, so uh, Nancy, please uh, read that for me, the first one. There is an ATM across the street. Excellent. Number two, Diana, uh, Jocelyn. Um, um, there, there is, there is re retreat me center on the, on the corner. Off. A Roser, a Roser, the street, um, first avenue, avenue. All right. Uh, number three, uh, Julio. Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. No, there's there's no clothing factory around the corner, Esa. Ah, uh, there's no clothing. Factory around the corner. Excellent. Uh, next, uh, Gamaliel. There are a lot of companies down the street. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Jenny. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. Thank you, Jenny. Uh, when the virus. When the virus. All right, Safia, please uh, read that for me. Uh, uh, ese que tiene en sí, la, yes. Okay. The. Okay, no, Dice, they are hospital. Um. On Barrio Street. Excellent. Okay. Next, uh, ever. Ever. There is an ATM across the street. Excellent. Let's see. Gamaliel, Gamaliel next, please. Now, 
there is a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. First Avenue. Let's repeat first. 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 Everybody, first. First. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Wendy Virus, next, please. Uh, next teacher, tengo problemas con el internet. Ah, okay, okay, okay. No, no, not a problem. Okay. Uh, Fatima, please uh, repeat. The, could you please read that for me? There is not clothing, clothing factory around the corner. Excellent. Uh, let's see Salomon. Next. Salomon. There are, excuse me. There are a lot of companies don't we don't their three. Okay, excellent. Let's see who else is here. Uh Salmon. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's repeat everybody. There is an ATM across the across the street. Let's go. There, there is an ATM, ATM across, across the street. The street. One more time. There is an ATM across there the street. There is an ATM. Excellent. There, I mean, there's a recruitment center on the corner. There is a recruitment center on the corner. Of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Of Street and First Avenue. Avenue. There's no clothing factory around the corner. There is no clothing factory around the corner. There's no clothing factory around the corner. There are a lot of companies down the street. There are a lot of companies down the street. There are street. There are some supermarkets on the right and left side. Side of the street. Very good. There are no hospitals on various streets. There are no hospitals on various streets. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, uh, there is a requirement. Okay. There is an ATM across the street. Everybody understand what is that means? There is an ATM across the, across the street. Si sabemos si quiere decir eso? Yes? Yes. Yes. Very good. Everybody uh, understood? Todos entendieron esa pregunta? Esa, esa oración, perdón? Yes. Very good. Okay. So the sec second one, there, there's a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Are we clear with this uh, sentence? Necesita saber algo? Algún significado de alguna palabra? Estamos bien? Uh, what, what, what do you mean recruitment? Recruitment is the eh, recruitment. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Centro de reclutamiento. All right, so very good. Uh, estamos claros con la tercera. There's no clothing factory around the corner. Yes. Very good, very good. And the next one, plural, right? There are a lot of companies down the street. Estamos acá... Sabedores de esto? Yes. Entendemos? Okay. And the second one, I mean, the next one, it's that there are some supermarkets on the right and left side of the street. ¿Estamos claro con esta? Yes. Okay. And there are no hospitals on various streets. Are we clear with that one? Yes. Yes? Very good. <laughs> Give me one second. I'm sorry. So, Let's see, complete the exercise with there is or there are n quantifier, and, and a quantifier, right? So, okay, so, ¿cuál sería la respuesta en la número uno? There is. There is a there marketing is. presentation across the street in the morning. There is, right? So, number two. There are. There are. They are. Pero, uh, ¿cuál es, qué, ¿qué es lo que dice la, 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 la instrucción? Quantifier. Quantifier, right? So, Completely the exercise. 
Exacto, sí. pero uh, aquí en la número, en la número dos, ¿cómo sería? There is there or there is, are. There are. There are. There are. There are. There are what? There, there is marketing. Mm. Is the plural business workshop? Business workshop. Pero el quantifier, el, el, el quantifier que está ahí, ¿cuál, cuál sería ahí que, el que tenemos que poner? Some. 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 So there are some business workshops um, yes. down the street. There are some, mm -hmm. some, right? Some business okay. workshops down the street. Very good. Number three, there is or there are. There are. There are. There are. There are no. There, there are, are no. Recruitment centers around my build, around my building. All right. Very good. Number four. There is. There is. There is. There is not. There is no. There is not a store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Excellent. Number five. There are banks, there are banks be, behind the, the world. There are banks behind banks. the banks. factory I work. Okay. Oh. What does that mean? Behind. Atrás. Very good, very good. And what is behind? De la fábrica. De la fábrica o del trabajo. Pero ¿qué es behind? ¿Qué es behind? Es una proposición. Proposition, right? Very good. Proposition place. place. Very good, very good. Okay, number... Proposition place. I mean, next one. What well, sería? Uh, there are or there is a ransom building around the corner. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta de esta? Que sería aparentemente la número 6, ¿verdad? Pero ¿cuál sería esta? There is there is there is, there is a ransom building around the corner. Excellent. Very good, guys. Nice job. Let's see. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Jenny. Floor, floor, floor. Oh, floor, floor, I'm sorry. Number five. Number five. There are. There are <laughs> banks behind the factory I work. Yes. Why? Thank Because you. banks. Acuérdese. Banks. Está hablando de. Es a. Uh, Banco. Plural. Plural. Okay. plural. All right. Yes. There are. There are. Yes, miss. Any questions? Any other question? Okay. No. All right, let's see. Let's repeat addresses and places. Addresses, addresses and places. Okay, uh, this is, I would be able to describe how many, I'm sorry, I would be able to describe how, how my and others working places and areas looks like, I mean, look like. All right, let's see. Uh, there are comfortable rooms. Uh, there is a beautiful lobby. There's a huge parking lot. There's a there are three high tech elevators. Surpass. There is a narrow reception area. There are two dirty uh, dining rooms. There is an ugly photocopy center. There are a small offices. All right. So okay, let's see. Uh, Jenny, please. Uh, dígame la primera. Just leámelo, por favor. There, there is a beautiful lobby. Second one, floor, please. There are comfortable rooms. Okay, next, uh, Wendy Virus, please. There is a home parking lot. A huge parking lot, huge. Huge parking lot. Excellent. Okay, next, uh, Gamaliel. There are three high tech ele elevator. Excellent. Uh, next, uh, Salomon. There is a narrow reception area. Area. Reception area. Repeat, next. reception area. Reception area. Area. Okay, excellent. All right, so next, uh, let's see, Jenny. They are two 
Right. ¿Cómo se dice esa palabra? Uh, dirty. 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 Uh -huh. La siguiente. Dining rooms. Diary, dining rooms. Dining rooms. Repeat, dining rooms. Dining, ¿cómo? Dining, dining, dining room. rooms. Dining rooms. Excellent. Let's see. Next, uh, Julio. There is an ugly photo copy center. All right. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Next, uh, Fatima. There are small offices. Okay, excellent. Number one, once again, let's see. Uh -huh. uh, Nancy, please, number one. There is a beautiful lobby. Okay, and let's see. Uh, came on. Oh, Sophia, number two. They are comfortable rooms. Comfortable rooms, okay, very good. Uh, let's see, everybody participate. Me faltó. Ever, please, number three. There's a huge parking lot. There's a huge parking lot. Repeat, parking, parking. lot. Parking lot. Uh -huh. Huge. Uh -huh. Ajá. En, en esta de acá, no sé qué entienden ustedes. ¿Quién puede dar el significado de esta, de esta oración? Anybody? All right, so la, la razón por la cual estoy, le, le estoy preguntando es porque este, usted puede entender que dice hay una, una, un centro de copia bien feo, ¿verdad? <risa> ¿verdad? Pero este, nosotros lo entendemos del punto, del, pin, del punto de señalamiento, ¿verdad? O sea, o sea como que feo en el sentido... Calidad de baja calidad, entonces eh, ese puede ser el significado, ¿verdad? No es que sea feo porque eh, tiene que ser bonito, no, o sea, estética, puede, ¿no? Ajá, estética igual manera, usted lo puede tomar de dos, de dos, de dos puntos de vista. Uh, por ejemplo, usted dice, there is an ugly uh, hospital, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, los hospitales, el servicio de hospitales de nosotros es pesadísimo, ¿verdad? Entra, entra hoy a las a las a la hora que llegue y sale cinco horas después verdad eso ir al seguro con los pies adelante coach I'm sorry pero con los pies adelante exacto exacto <risa> exacto entonces este bien tremendo verdad o cuando le dicen a usted eh, cuándo va a ser mi próxima cita hoy estamos en septiembre sí. y le dice ahí por mayo del 2024 uh -huh. va a venirles Dios mío, y solo para ahí hay, hay, o sea, que mientras tanto usted muérase, ¿verdad? Entonces usted dice, there is an ugly uh, hospital services in El Salvador. All right, so, a mí no me gusta ir al hospital, siento que me estreso más ir a un hospital, ¿verdad? Sale, sale peor uno de ahí, entonces, tómelo de, ese, de esos dos puntos de vista, ¿verdad? Ugly no quiere decir prácticamente feo por lo que conocemos, feo y bonito. Físicamente, ajá, físicamente, sino que ugly porque es horrible ir al mal hospital. Servicio. Mal servicio. ¿verdad? Entonces, así dice, there is an ugly photocopy center. Me imagino que este, eh, esta oración también puede decir de que tiene el servicio de, esa, de, esa, de ese lugar donde sacan copias es pesadísimo, ¿verdad? O sea, llega a dejar las cosas y se las dan a los una copia se la dan a los 15 minutos. Entonces usted dice, there is an ugly photocopy center. Como decir, Ar pésimo servicio. Pésimo servicio, exacto, exacto. Así usted dice, ugly, ok. And there are small offices, right? So, esto es, you know, hay oficinas bien pequeñas. There is a beautiful, uh, there is a beautiful lobby. Ya sabe que es el lobby, ¿verdad? Lo que han ido, lo que hemos ido, o lo que no han podido ir hasta este momento, ¿verdad? A un hotel, el lobby es donde usted entra, la recepción, ¿verdad? Donde usted, usted entra y se, hay unos sillones y ahí está, está esperando usted bien tranquilo, ¿verdad? Si se va a ir a quedar al de Cameron, que ya no sirve tampoco, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, el servicio pesadísimo, ugly place to be. Así, un lugar feo para ir o para estar, ¿all right? So, 
Entonces, el siguiente es, there's a, there are comfortable rooms. Hay cuartos bien confortables. Ok. El otro que sí es, there's a huge parking lot. ¿Verdad? Aquí, pues. Hay un enorme parqueo. Aquí, parqueo ya no existen, creo yo, ¿verdad? En todas las, <risa> todos los lugares estamos bien, pero atascados de car, de, de vehículos, ¿verdad? So, yo vivo aquí en Soyapango y, y comparo Santa Tecla. Santa Tecla, a menos que viva en una residencial y tiene su parqueo propio, va a parquear su carro bien bonito. Mientras tanto, que Dios me lo libere, porque ahí hay carros por todos lados y tremendo para, para dejar parqueado su vehículo ahí en Santa Tecla. Bueno, los que viven ahí me pueden, me pueden decir yes. que, que es cierto, ¿verdad? Yes, Horrible, yes, ¿verdad? Teacher. Tremendo. All right, so, eh, quiero ver el otro. There are three high-tech elevators. Dice, hay tres eh, eh, elevadores técnicos. De, al, ¿Cómo dice? There are three high-tech elevators. O sea, hay tres elevadores uh, técnicos, ¿verdad? En, la, en, el, en el edificio, por decirlo así. El siguiente, there is a narrow reception area. Hay una recepción bien a, acomodada en el área del de, eh, hotel, por decirlo así, ¿verdad? There are two dirty dining rooms. Hay dos uh, cuartos bien sucios donde, donde, como, donde se cena, ¿verdad? There are two dirty dining rooms. Me imagino que en un hotel, hay, como hay recepciones, ¿verdad? Usted va a recepción 1, recepción 2, y dice usted, there, uh, there are two dirty dining rooms. Imagínese que hay cinco dining rooms, ¿verdad? Eh, cuartos de cena. Y usted es el capitán, el que trabaja como jefe, pues sabe de lo que estoy hablando, ¿verdad? Usted es el capitán y usted es el que anda eh, verificando que las, las mesas estén bien, bien arregladitas con sus copas, sus, sus uh, utensilios, que va por decir los cubiertos y todos tenedores. Pero usted llegó al cuarto y dice, there are two dirty dining rooms, guys. I want you to you guys uh, complete, I mean, I want you to you guys clean eh, clean uh, as soon as possible. Quiero que limpien esos cuartos lo más pronto posible. Y el otro dice lo que acabamos de hablar. There is an ugly photocopy center and there are small offices. Ok. Any questions about these guys? Si se fija, estamos aprendiendo más vocabulario, ¿verdad? Este, uh, este dice dining room. Ok. Now let's repeat. There is a beautiful lobby. There, there is a beautiful, beautiful lobby. lobby. There are comfortable rooms. There are comfortable, comfortable rooms. There's a huge parking lot. There's, There's a, a huge parking, parking lot. lot. Huge parking lot. Repeat, huge parking huge. lot. Huge parking lot. There are three high-tech elevators. There are three high-tech elevators. Elevator. Elevators. Elevators, one more time. Elevators. Elevators. Acuérdese elevators. que, como le repito, usted lo puede pronunciar elevators como nosotros lo, lo digerimos, ¿verdad? Con nuestro, nuestra R bien bonita que tenemos, ¿verdad? Nosotros decimos Ramón, Renato, Rancio, ridículo, pero le ponemos hasta, hasta como más ruido, ¿verdad? Hacemos, pero ese es parte de nuestro español, ¿verdad? Y sabía que usted, usted está hablando un, un, un idioma que es bien, bueno, hablamos un idioma que es uno de los más difíciles a nivel mundial. ¿Sabía eso, sí? Que el, 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 el español es bien difícil aprenderlo. Y nosotros somos privilegiados que es nuestra lengua nativa. No, no obstante que nuestra lengua, nosotros tendríamos que hablar el, ¿cómo se llama? El náhuatl, ¿verdad? Porque esa es nuestra, nuestra lengua, ¿verdad? Pero... Fuimos conquistados y hablamos lo que es el español, como le digo. Entonces, en este tipo de casos, usted tiene que eh, suavizar la letra R, ¿verdad? Dice elevators. Repeat, elevators. 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 Elevator. One more time. Elevators. Eleva elevators. elevators. Let's repeat. Let's repeat three. 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 All right. Very good. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, let's repeat. There is a narrow reception area. There is a narrow reception area. There are two dirty dining rooms. 
They are dirty. Let's repeat. Dirty. 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 Usted como le repito lo puede pronunciar dirty, ¿verdad? Pero lo que yo estoy evitando que usted no sea como punto o como le digo blanco de, de atención cuando se está hablando, ¿verdad? Porque si usted se fija o no sé si usted haya visto alguna película o ha visto el acento que ocupan la gente de, de India. No sé si ha escuchado cómo hablan los, la, la gente de India, inglés. Que por ejemplo ellos dicen There is a beautiful lot. There are a comfortable rooms. There are huge parking lot. There are three high-tech elevators. ¿Verdad que así? No sé si he escuchado el acento de ellos. Que bien, sí, es bien cierto. Es, uh -huh. es bien fuerte. Entonces, usted tiene que identificar, o sea, lo, por ende lo va a identificar cuando usted eh, hable con, un, con una persona de India, cuando usted hable con una persona de, de Texas, de Estados Unidos, eh, cuando hable con, con, con una persona que es de, me, de México, o sea, o sea México-americano. Usted lo va a identificar rápido cuando hable con un chai, con un chinés o una persona de, de, de China. ¿verdad? Ellos como hablan, usted rápido, le, rápido le, le identifica que son chinos, ¿verdad? Usted le, le dice, ah, uh, there is a beautiful lobby, there is a rock up for room, there is a huge parking lot, there are three high tech elevators, there is a narrow reception area, ¿verdad? Entonces usted identifica y yo eso es lo que estoy tratando, que usted no sea target, o sea, eso no tiene nada que ver y no me malinterprete, o sea, yo le estoy dando, le estoy explicando que pronunciemos bien la palabra, ¿verdad? Porque de igual manera, si lo identifican de dónde es usted, con solo que usted, usted si usted si logre identificar o logre tener una conversación, eso no hay ningún problema, pero si usted quiere tener una mejor pronunciación, usted dice dirty, o lo puede, dirty, 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 dirty. Uh, dining rooms, let's repeat, there are two very dining rooms. Go ahead. Okay. There is an ugly photocopy center. There is an, there is an, an ugly, ugly photocopy photo 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 center. Photocopy center. Photocopy center. Photocopy center. Photocopy center. Photocopy center. Alright. Acuérdese que esta también usted la puede pronunciar center, ¿verdad? No hay ningún problema. Ahí solo queda opción del cliente, ¿verdad? Si usted quiere decirlo center o center. Es lo mismo. ¿Ok? Coach, y dígame. Eh, ¿Cómo es la pronunciación correcta de call center? Es call center. Call center, yes. Call center, yes. Okay. Ajá, okay. Pero, usted lo puede, pero usted lo puede decir sí, también, sí. call center. ¿Ok? Si le dicen... No, 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 where, pero la, la correct. No, o sea... La, la pronunciación que usted tiene que decir es call center, ¿verdad? Para, call que, usted, center. Ajá, para que usted se oiga nativa. De caché. De caché, esa es la palabra, de caché, ¿verdad? Pero okay. si usted lo quiere decir uh, como, como lo lee, o sea, call center, yo le voy a entender, ¿verdad? Pero lo que, lo que le digo es tratar de evitar ser un target, ¿verdad? O sea, eso no tiene que, como le repito, no tiene nada que ver que la van a ver de más, la van a ver de menos, no, no tiene nada que ver. Solamente es la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Entre mejor lo diga, es, eh, va a ser este, mucho, valga la redundancia otra vez, mucho mejor, ¿verdad? Ok, very good. Okay, thank you. Very good. Ok, read the information again to answer the questions compared with a partner. So, ¿qué dice acá? How does Mr. Paz describe his workplace? They are... ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo entiendes esta pregunta? How does Mr. Paz describe his workplace? ¿Cómo, Mr. ¿De, de o sea, qué manera es, ¿cómo el, explica Mr. Paz describe ajá, su su trabajo, lugar de trabajo? Ajá, ¿cómo lo describe? describe? ¿Cómo describe Mr. Paz el lugar de trabajo basado en esta parte de acá? Eh. Es un ello lo puede, no sé qué significa. puede elegir una, ¿verdad? O sea, hay, hay muchas cosas que, puede, que, que hay acá, o sea, muy, muchas respuestas, perdón. Sí. ¿Verdad? O sea, Mr. Paz está acá, él dice, there is a beautiful lobby. O sea, él está hablando bien de donde él trabaja, ¿verdad? There is a beautiful lobby. There are comfortable rooms. 
There's a huge parking lot and there are three high-tech elevators. Okay. Se puede elegir cualquiera de esas, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál cree que sería una de esas? A beautiful lobby. Cualquiera, ¿verdad? Sí, de, podría ser eh, a beautiful lobby, la segunda o la tercera. ¿verdad? Excellent. So, number two sería, what does Miss... Uh, Mrs. Aguilar think about her workplace. ¿Qué es lo que la señorita Aguilar piensa acerca del lugar de trabajo? Igual que hay una, hay una recepción muy, muy pequeña. Mm -hmm. There are small offices. O sea, ella se está quejando, ¿verdad? Puede elegir there is, no, there is no a good place for work. So there, son ajá, exacto, ¿verdad? Entonces, on which one of the two Uh, places do you want to work and why? Uh, le, pre le pregunto, Gamaliel, dígame. Uh, I, I should in the workplace, Mr. Paz. Oh, you choose, okay. You, uh, you choose uh, the Mr. Paz place, okay. What about you, Jenny? Uh, Mr. Paz. Mr. Paz, okay, very good. What about you, Flor? On which of the two places do you want to work? ¿En cuáles de los lugares que acabo de mencionar te gustaría trabajar y por qué? On which of the two places do you want to work? And why? ¿En cuáles de esos dos lugares te gustaría trabajar y por qué, Jen, eh, Flor? Los dos lugares son estos, ¿verdad? El de Mr. Paz y de, y de Miss Aguilar. Está en mute. Sorry. I like, work, I like working in Mr. Paz uh, because there is a beautiful lobby, there are comfortable rooms, Excellent. excellent, very okay. good, excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, ever, on which on which of those places we like to work and why? I would like to work uh, Mr. Paz. Why? Why Mr. Paz say there is a beautiful lobby, there are, a, there are a comfortable rooms, there is a huge parking lot, and there are there are three high stage elevators. Okay, Jenny, same question. On which one of the on which of the two places do you want to work and why? Um want to work on um Mr. Pass. Because because um beautiful there are they are beautiful lobby. They are and 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 I know the demás. Uh -huh. There, there are comfort, comfort, comfortable, com comfortable, comfortable rooms. Comfortable, comfortable rooms. There's a huge parking lot. There are three high dish elevator. elevator. Take elevators. Very good. Uh, Nancy, on which one of the two places uh, do you want to work and why? I want to work with Mr. Bus. Because uh, there is a beautiful lobby and there are comfortable rooms. I like that. Very good. Excellent. Uh, let's see, Fatima, why will, uh, which, uh, on which one, I'm sorry, on which of the two places do you want to work? I would like to work in, on, in the Mr. Pass because there are comfortable rooms. Um, this is a good place. Excellent, excellent. Very good, very good, guys. All right, so uh, let me stop uh, sharing. Very nice, very nice. As you can see, guys, uh, we are most likely learning more and more and more every single day. All right, estamos aprendiendo más y más y más. Lo que yo me, me interesa de que usted, <coughs> excuse me, que usted eh, analice, identifique, comprenda las preguntas o ya yeah, las preguntas que aquí este, el, el presente le hace, ¿verdad? O aquí afuera en la calle cuando le pregunten algo, usted ya sabe, ¿verdad? Si, 
algún extranjero la, usted se puede prestar y decirle alguna información, se la da, ¿verdad? Sin miedo, sin miedo al éxito, ¿verdad? Entonces se va y mira un gringo ahí y le dice, a mí un poquito español, anybody can help me, I'm lost. Where is uh, San Salvador? Where is uh, Soyapango? Y usted viene y le dice, ah, ok. You see this route, you need to take any of these routes and this route is going to take, or this bus is going to take you to Soyapango, all right? Just double check with the, with, the, with the driver, with the driver, and that would be it, okay? So, uh, do you have any question, guys, so far? No questions? No questions. Very good, guys. Uh, have a wonderful night. Thank you so much. I see you tomorrow, and rest, please. Try to sleep nice, and I see you tomorrow. God bless you guys. Okay, take it easy. Bye. Good night. You too. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night everyone. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Good night, Julio. Good, Good night, Flor. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, sir.